everybody. We're here at the dedication of the Philip Rivas Senior Athletic Field, adjacent to our brand new Somerville High School. This is a long time coming. It is the first time in the history of Somerville that we have an athletic field, practice field, next to our high school. And we also had the privilege, the privilege and the honor, to dedicate this field to Philip Rivas Sr. He is an athlete, he's an Olympian, he is a jazz player, he's a teacher, he's a mentor. Um, he has given so much to our community. We can't thank him enough and this is just a wonderful tribute to him. It's been wonderful over the last year to watch this field being created. My office is just behind the field and I could look out of my window every day and see the progress that was made. And it is truly a monumental feat to see how we changed this slope that you could barely climb up to this wonderful 45,000 square foot athletic field, practice field for our Somerville High School. So welcome everyone. Thank you for coming out today to celebrate the opening of Somerville High School's Philip Recevis Senior Field. We have city councilors, we have school committee members here with us today. Thank you for being here. I'd like to acknowledge that Councilor at Large Jake Wilson is here, School Committee Member Eleanor Barish is here, School Committee Member Laura Patone is here, President of the City Council Ben Ewan Campen is running a little late but he will be here. I see that our esteemed former Mayor Jean Brune is here. <laughs> Former Councilor at Large Jack Conley is here. This is a momentous occasion. Somerville High School has long operated without a practice field on site. But that changes right here, right now. I'm honored to open this facility where our dedicated student athletes can now hone their talents and our physical education classes can take in fresh air. I've had a unique vantage point into this odds-defying work that it took to create this field. My office is, you can't quite see it behind this retaining wall, but uh, I could see this over the last year and the work that's been done here has been amazing. So I've gotten to see firsthand this site's transformation from a slope, almost too steep to even walk, into a state-of-the-art practice field for our Somerville High School Highlanders and the entire community. This is an important, great new facility, and it is fitting that it is named for an important and great Somervillian. of a remarkable individual, Philip Rivas Sr. A graduate of Somerville High School class of 1954, Philip stands out for both his athletic and civic contributions to Somerville. He was an outstanding high school athlete, a U.S. Olympian, and a dedicated member of our community. I'm honored Philip and his family could join us here today as we recognize this con his contribution. <laughs> Philip, I want to personally thank you for all your hard work on behalf of Somerville students and athletes. I also want to recognize your family here today, your wife Terry, your son, 
Your son, Philip Rivas Jr., and your daughter-in-law, Tricia, along with your grandson, Philip John. Thank you all for taking the time to travel here. Your family's contribution to the city has helped shape Somerville that we know and love. While for many of us, Olympian would be enough of an achievement, Philip's legacy in Somerville doesn't end there. He served as a teacher and as a mentor to local students and was a driving force behind the city's recreation commission. Philip modeled determination and achievement as he broke high school high jump records, broke a world record while in college, won the amateur athletic union high jump title in 1956, and went on to the Olympics. He just may be the only Somerville native who's graced the cover of Sports Illustrated as he did in 1958. But just as important, Philip modeled civic spirit, the art of giving back. He engaged our students both on the clock and off, dedicating so much of his time to support the achievements of others. Philip's dedication to helping our youth grow, learn through academic and athletic achievement is a testament to the spirit of Somerville and I believe will inspire generations of Highlander athletes. Having this field bear your name is not just an honor that our community is seeking to bestow upon you, Philip. Rather, it is an honor to have such a distinguished and gen generous individual to be a part of and a force within our community. What does our new Rivas Field offer? This field spans an impressive 45,000 square feet and is more than just turf and wood. It's an engineering marvel. Even though I saw the work happening here every day, it's still hard to believe that the flat field we're standing on used to be an unusable steep slope. Now this field will provide all of our Somerville High School students with a state-of-the-art on-site space for physical education and athletic drills and practices. Yeah. Historically, not just in Somerville, but nationwide, school sports facilities have been built and presented with an inherent imbalance favoring boy, boys' athletic pursuits. This was a bias we set a goal to untangle as we sought to make sure that Rivas Fields aligns with our city's values of equity and access. My office is working closely with the Somerville Public Schools High School's athletic department to ensure there are thoughtful plans in place. We aim to ensure that all students, regardless of gender identity, have equitable access to the field for physical education. Boys and girls teams both have plenty of time for practice and drills. Rivas Field will be a place where every high school student in Somerville, regardless of their gender, can find a level playing field. In true Somerville fashion, this field also isn't just for our high school students, it's for everyone. Although Rivas Field will primarily serve Somerville high school students and teens, it will be shared with the community when it's not in use by the school. At every age and level, practicing as a team helps build connections, learn new skills, and maybe just burn off stress on the field. So I'm thrilled that we can now share a new practice field with not just our Highlanders, but all Somerville athletes. So I'm just gonna set you up. There's a lot of thank yous, because it took a lot of people to get this, this done. So I just wanna extend my sincerest gratitude to everyone 
who's worked so hard in this multi-year project. This ceremony completes the final step of a very long journey to create modern state-of-the-art facility for our Somerville High School students. I'd first like to thank the school building committee, which helped guide the entire Somerville High School renovation project. Thank you for your steadfastly t steering us towards this moment. Thank you to the Massachusetts School Building Authority for providing significant funding for the high school's new facilities. Thank you to the Somerville City Council for approving additional funding and the entire Somerville community for your support in this years long project. A big thanks to Somerville Superintendent Dr. Carmona, former interim Superintendent Jeff Curley, and former superintendents Mary Skipper and Tony Parentazzi. You know a project took a long time if you have to thank four superintendents. <laughs> Thanks as well to the entire team at the Somerville Public Schools who are always imagining greater possibilities for their students and then in doing so making it a reality. I'd especially like to thank Somerville High School Principal Alicia Kirstens, Athletic Director Stanley Vieira, Next Wave Full Circle Principal Margaret Despali Green for their thoughtful work to help Revis Field as a welcoming place for all students. I'd also like to thank School Committee Chair Alana Krepshen as well as the full school committee and the Somerville High School PTA for your continued advocacy on behalf of your students and your support of high school renovation and field projects. We'd all be assembling, assembled here in a mountaineering of equipment without the vision and hard work of Rich Raish, our Director of Infrastructure and Asset Management and his entire team. Thank you for making this project a success. No project, no project this big happens without help. So thank you to our uh, construction company and design partners, the architects at SMMA, including Vice President Alec Pinkin, who's here with us today. Thank you for your vision and hard work. Also a proud parent of two Somerville High School graduates, our construction manager, Suffolk Construction, our project manager, PMA Consultants, and a big thank you to all the teachers and students at Somerville High School for your patience, your flexibility during the field's construction, and contributing your ideas to the design process. Thank you to our public space and urban forestry staff for designing, implementing thoughtful field plantings that once planted will enhance the space. A ribbon cutting doesn't mean the work is done. I'd like to thank our Department of Public Works for their work prepping the field and also for their continued and future maintenance of this magnificent space. And I'd also like to thank Tricia Rivas for trying to get into the door of using her voice to amplify the wonders of her father-in-law. Who then, you know how the, the rumor mill spreads, but also for a Somerville resident to Matt Hoey, who also took the took over the baton from Tricia to, um, you know, get the campaign going for the naming uh, and getting to the memorialization committee and doing uh, research and making sure that this dedication happened. Dr. Ruben Carmona.
I was going to say good morning, everyone, but it's uh, good afternoon. So, Mr. Rivers and the Rivers family, thank you for your service to the Somerville community. I'm honored. I'm truly honored to stand alongside you and the rest of, the, of today's speakers to officially dedicate this field to commemorate your numerous accomplishments and your commitment to education and youth. And also thank you for bringing along this beautiful weather. I know that you have a special gifts, but this really pushes the envelope. There is certainly no shortage of people here today to speak about the many, many achievements that you, you have made throughout your life. So I want to focus my thanks to you on behalf of the Somerville Public Schools, our educators, and our youth. You are a shining example of success, not only academically, but ath athletically and civically. When we as educators and mentors talk to students about how we want to see them succeed, it is what you have accomplished that we hope for our students will embody. Let me be clear. I don't mean that we expect all of our students to be going around breaking world records, although that would be amazing. What I mean is that you set goals for yourself, found and embraced your passions, and turned them into ways to enrich our, your community down every path that life has led you. I had the opportunity this week to read an editorial in the Bay State Banner written by Ronald Mitchell. In it, Ronald notes, this is an individual who took full advantage of every opportunity present, presented to him, however foreign, and he excelled at each one of them. Excellence and success are measured in many ways. Academic achievement, accomplishments in your field, financial stability, and many others. But finding what fulfills you, what makes an impact on others around you and encouraging others along the way, these are the successes that make a lasting impact. After setting out to pursue your passion and jump to new heights, I'm sorry I can't resist a good pun, you turn, to focus, you turn, your, turn your focus to back to the young uh, people in your hometown. Both inside and outside of the classroom, you help countless students realize their potential and pursue, and pursue and push for more opportunities for them to do so. From teaching to coaching to giving back to your community and opening new doors for young people, Somerville students have reaped the benefits of your kindness and your excellence and will continue to do so for generations to come. Today, we're not only cutting the ribbon on a new field. For the first time, Somerville's high school students will have easy, easily accessible outdoor recreational space adjacent to their school that will also provide opportunities for youth across the city. This is a milestone for our community and is another legacy you're leaving behind for your, your four young residents. I want to close again, quoting Ronald Mitchell's editorial. Of field, Mr. Mitchell wrote, what if we all took advantage of the opportunities presented to us? Well, look around, look around, each one of you here today took advantage of the opportunity to honor Mr. Rivas and to provide for our students, and it paid off. Congratulations, Mr. Rivas. Thank you. I'd also like to acknowledge that Adam Sweeting is here. He's former school committee member for Ward 3, was chair for a couple of years, and uh, I thank you for all your work too because you were at the beginning stages of uh, the Somerville, the redesign of the high school and this field. So next up, we have Rich Raish, our Director of Infrastructure and Asset Management. Hello, everybody. Mr. Reeves' accomplishments are impressive, so it is fitting that the field that is named after him is itself a impressive engineering feat. Built into a 70-foot high hill, needing retaining walls as high as 30 feet, requiring moving some 30 million cubic feet of dirt, 
200,000 tons of which had asbestos and needed to be trucked out of state for disposal. Uh, and after about 400 or so meetings with the MBTA to coordinate the construction here with the Green Line extension construction that happened at the same time, it's taken us about three years to complete the construction of this, uh, of this field. Uh, that's what it takes to create open space in the most densely populated and developed city in the Northeast. We're happy to have done it, and we're happy we have this asset uh, for, for the future, and we're happy that it's named after such an impressive individual. This would not have been possible uh, without the amazing technical team who saw the third phase of the high school construction to its completion across the goal line. Any one of those goal lines will do. <laughs> Jake, Mike, Emily, Sean from Suffolk Construction, our construction manager, uh, who coordinated all the work of all the different sub-trades and sub-contractors uh, that did all the work, the landscaping, the concrete, the field, uh, it, it would not have been possible without all of their technical expertise. Sean, Anthony, Nick, Chad from PMA, our owner's project manager, they uh, watch our budget like a hawk, make sure that every single dollar is spent the way it's supposed to and uh, protects the city's interest throughout. And of course, the amazing design team from SMMA, Dave, Peter, Matt, Lorraine, John, the entire team. This building behind me is, at least in my opinion, the best in the state, if not the country. And we have the uh, SMMA to thank for designing that beautiful building. Of course, we also have Ralph, Dustin, Kevin, Deb, the entire Capital Projects team. Uh, they are an amazing asset to the city of Somerville. Uh, when they are asked to jump, they never ask how high, they always clear the bar. And yes, that's a reference to that. <laughs> thank you all, and thank you to all the other members of the, the city uh, organization. Uh, DPW, school administration, the finance department, the procurement department. It takes a village to build a village, and not all of us wear hard hats. So I want to thank all of my fellow village people that brought this to you. So thank you very much. Uh, my appreciation is extended to that entire technical team with whom we've spent uh, countless hours. I will miss most of you. All right, I'll miss all of you. All right, I'll miss most of you. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to the next uh, four years where my kids will be playing on this wonderful field and, and very happy that uh, it bears a, a wonderful name. Thank you very much. Next up, I'd like to invite the council president, Ben Ewan Campen. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am so incredibly uh, happy and honored to be here, um, not just to celebrate this new field, which every day I bike my three-year-old by it, and he says, we get to play on that one day? We get to play on that one day? So now I get to tell him, Yes, <laughs> um, but not just the field. As we all know, we are also here uh, celebrating Phil Revis himself, um, one of the all-time great Somervillians. Um, it is such an honor to be here. Um, as you've all heard, this is the final piece of the high school project. And I just want to take a moment. The vote to actually fund this took place before I was on the city council. So that was six years ago and they accidentally forgot to build a teacher's parking garage underneath, but we'll talk about that some other time. Um, but it's just a reminder of how long it can take to actually uh, get this stuff through. We all know there was a pandemic in the middle. There were just incredible logistical challenges that came up, but it is a reminder with so much stuff going on in this city, so much construction. It is days like this that make it all worthwhile where we get to the light at the end of the tunnel and we have this incredible new resource. And uh, 50 years from now, when people who don't know any of us uh, Google Revis, they will be exposed to this incredible, incredible person. Um, and that is what is so wonderful about naming this, this public resource after you. So thank you and thank you to everyone who made today possible. Next up, uh, let's please welcome Alice Pink Pitkin, uh, Senior <coughs> Vice President and Principal of SMMA, our project architects, which, you know, as we heard, uh, 
uh, we wouldn't be here today without uh, your firm's help and support and vision. Thank you, Mayor. No more high jump jokes, okay? <laughs> we'll to that part of the portion of the program today. Uh, th this June, I had the uh, really good fortune to meet Mr. Rebus uh, at the Somerville Museum's special exhibit in his honor. Uh, two things struck me at that evening. Uh, beyond just Mr. Rebus's accomplishments, his mighty uh, accomplishments in his athletic oh, career, you. but also his humility. Uh, one, his dedication to the city, and uh, his lifelong commitment to inspiring student success was evident. Uh, and two, the exhibit was curated by Somerville High School students uh, and the history teacher, Ada uh, Santos. <laughs> that, that evening, Mr. Rivas's interaction with the students was truly genuine. Uh, and it was not just showcasing his talent uh, that evening, but illustrated the potential of this facility, this new high school, in concert uh, with this new physical education field uh, that we were uh, proud to plan for. Uh, the, important, um, the importance of a well-rounded education and healthy city spaces for our students uh, in concert with a high school that supports our students uh, can't be underestimated. Uh, certainly, my children benefited greatly from the support within this community, as so many of our others have. The new high school is a model for project-based learning, but Ms. Santos also showed that it goes beyond what we think of as just STEM education and the technical fields. It shows how important it is in humanities and also in the athletics. Uh, SMMA, oh, as with any success story, uh, Mr. Rivas's personal perseverance uh, was also exemplified in the design and construction of this field. SMMA would like to thank the mayor, city council, and the permanent building committee, uh, and the city for its unwavering support of this monumental task. PMA for their eight years of support, and the Suffolk team for finally constructing it. I would uh, point to our engineering team who's with me tonight, uh, their talent and skills for constructing this literal acropolis and the Greek history of, of sporting um, that you stand upon today would not be possible without the structural and civil team uh, that we assembled. Uh, and then Dave Fanuelli, special shout out to him for his unwavering every Wednesday being here to see it through as well. So with that, I'd like to congratulate Mr. Rivas and look forward to seeing you back in the city again soon. Thank you, Alex. Um, our school district and high school administration have been more than patient waiting for this field. In fact, you could say the district hasn't been patient just the last few years. But for decades, as they have made do with off-site options. So please welcome Somerville High School Principal Alicia Kirsten and Athletic Director Stanley Vieira as they say a few words. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Kirsten. I'm the principal of Somerville High School. Representing the, high, uh, the school, we also have Stanley Vieira, Athletic Director. Margaret Green, our principal of Next Wave Full Circle, that's also housed in the same building, and Nicole Veely, our director of health and PE for the district. Um, I'm really glad, Mayor Valentine, that you did that long list of thank yous. I'm a former history teacher, and we try to teach students that whenever a historical event happens, there's so much that happened behind the scenes that doesn't make it into the history books. Um, and we're really, really, really grateful for everybody and all the work that went into making this field happen. Um, we were just beyond thrilled that the new building design, the whole thing, included outdoor space for our students. I think people forget, um, we work with high school students, young adults, adolescents, we love working with them, but I think people forget they're still kids. And so we finally have a place, after all these decades, an outdoor space where our kids can play. Um, and it moves us forward towards our goal of educating the whole child, of making sure that they have an outdoor space where they can get exercise, which really is part of an important part of their whole education. 
and they don't have to travel. Some folks will get to practice here and not have to travel half an hour to go to where their practice fields are, making the all important athletics an easier access for our students. Uh, again, as a former history teacher, um, we also talk a lot about whose stories get told and whose stories don't get told. We are beyond thrilled that your story has not only been told by uh, Ada Santos, wave Ada Santos, uh, the students, wave the students who did the local history exhibit. also we're really glad that your story got told and your story is being memorialized you are an incredible role model for our kids I uh, went to the exhibit and all I could think of was now that is a well a life that has been well lived from athlete to educator Olympian world traveler jazz musician innovator I mean this you are the absolute appropriate role model for our students um, your name gets memorialized here in the field, but we're also going to take pieces of the exhibit, and make a permanent exhibit at our high school so kids can continue to be inspired by you. Good afternoon, everybody. I, um, like everybody before me, it's an honor to be here today. Um, sometimes as adults, we, we get so wrapped up in our day-to-day -day lives of you know, all the responsibilities we have. I'm gonna tell you, when I met Phil Rivas a year ago and I shook his hand, I became a 10-year-old boy. I shook that man's hand and it was like shaking the hand of this out-of-world celebrity that I've heard so much about. It's truly an honor to be here today. Um, I'm extremely excited about the fact that we have this wonderful field for our students for forever. You know, it's, it's such a resource to us. The accomplishments of, and the legacy of Phil Rivas are very hard sometimes to capture into words. Uh, it's like he's lived a hundred lives. It's amazing what he's done and what, he, what he's been able to accomplish. He's, he means so much to our community and there will always be a deep respect and appreciation for what Mr. Rivas has accomplished, accomplished in his life. But one of the things, as, I, as I've heard from Mr. Rivas speak uh, multiple times, that really resonates with me is the fact that he's never forgotten where he came from, the city of Somerville. And, and the fact, And, and the fact that he, he credits everything he is to the city and the people who work with him and the things that he, he was a part of, it's, it's very, very special. Um, I grew up in Somerville myself, uh, so there's a real deep appreciation for what the city is and what it's become. Um, he always references Somerville and everything it gave him and how proud he is. Today, Mr. Rivas, we look at you, sir, and we are forever grateful for everything you've given to our city. So thank you very much for everything you've done. Um, and again, it's hard to say thank you. It doesn't seem like enough, but we are all forever appreciative for everything you have done and continue to do for us. You are truly an inspiration for all. Thank you, sir. I'd now like to call up uh, senior Marcia Narbachwe and junior Jackson Love, two of our wonderful student athletes. Say a few words and um, they're gonna be presenting a gift from the city of Somerville and Somerville High School. Hi everybody, my name is Marcia. It's an honor today to present this jacket to Phil. Hi everyone, my name is Marcia. It's an honor today to present this jacket to Phil Rebus. I'd like to thank both the History Club and the Somerville Museum for um, exposing his personal story to us. And he's been an inspiration for our track team because he's shown us how to be successful on the field, but also off the field with all of his passions. Thank you. Um, I'll be brief, but um, I just remember being a freshman and you know, I'd never run track in my life. Um, it was a completely new sport to me. And I remember Coach D over there, you know, showing me the Sports Illustrated cover, and that just made me so excited and like completely changed the way I thought about the sport. Like somebody that was on the same team that I was on now, had been to the Olympics, was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, you know, magazine I grew up reading. And so, you know, today, track and field is like a really big part of my life. And so, I guess I just wanted to thank Mr. Rivas for being able to be an inspiration for all of us on the track team.
remind me, I forgot a few acknowledgements. Dave, how, Dave Dickerson, how long have you been coaching track at Somerville High School? Uh, 40 years. 40 years. Uh, Carl Stoffer, I saw, I saw two. Yeah. Carl here, track coach is also right here. here. And um, Sibby La Gambina, retired principal at Somerville High School is also here. Thank you. up if you'd like to say a few words. As you can tell, it's cold outside. <laughs> I want to thank everyone here for its creation of playgrounds. When I first came to Somerville, you could hear, at that time, we called it noise everywhere. You walk on one street, you got a noise up the street. You go by, what is it? It's a playground, which I think is one of the basic fundamental things of athletics. After I graduated from the Hodgkin School and taking care of my little brother on his tricycle, it was very difficult at first because sidewalks are too small and the streets were not safe. So I took him to a local playground near to where we lived, the Western Junior High School Shaw Playground. It was here that I met one of the playground directors. He explained all the activities taking place on the playground, running, jumping, contests, were a lot of fun, you know? How long does it take to get the first base? What's it like to do all four bases? All right. So, what did I do? I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He even asked me if I high jumped. I told him I didn't. So, he taught me how to scissor kick, which excited me because I never saw it, never heard of it, and never felt it. I found myself going up to the Shaw Playground to practice almost every day. I became very active with many of the activities. Little did I realize how important these games, exercises, would prepare me to become a good athlete. Some of the playgrounds are extremely active. You could hear the activities as you walked up or down its streets. I joined the high school track team when I graduated from the junior high school. My jumping technique became better to the point that I was able to receive a full scholarship to Villanova University. to take this off. <laughs> thank you, Philip, for your words, for your achievements, for your contribution, and thank you all to being here. So let's cut this ribbon. <laughs>
I was fortunate enough in order to have certain activities, especially st st starting from really the playgrounds. Playgrounds put everything in perspective. And that was really the most important thing. And uh, I've talked to many youth, and I hope that they begin to understand that.